Del Grand Dealer Group. So here today on DGDG TV, we have the brand new 2015 WRX. It's only coming in a four door now. The hatchback slash wagon may be announced later. We don't know too much about that yet. Look for the Lavorg. Um, but this is the car we get now. In a couple months, this car will be out. It's the first time we've ever seen it live. The DSM just dropped it off. We're gonna have it here on our showroom through the weekend, but by the time you see this video, it'll be gone. So they will be out in a couple months, probably March, April of uh, hopefully 2014. So this is the limited trim. What we have here is an eyelid LED daytime running light. You also get leather seats, moonroof with the limited, as well as a couple other creature comforts on the inside. Harman Kardon audio now available in this car. All right, here's the profile shot of the new 2015. This WRX has a new, completely redesigned 17 inch wheel. They kept the gray, dark gray look of it. Looks like a magged wheel that way. It's a lot more aggressive than the silver in the previous uh, generation before the last generation. So they kept the good thing about it, which is the dark gray wheels, in my opinion. It has an inch longer wheelbase for better handling. Uh, they spent a lot of time with act which actually drifting the car, letting the rear end loose and getting that control back, pushing the limits of all-wheel drive drift control. And this is really a lot better than the pre uh, previous car. They're uh, maximizing in cornering. They wanted to eliminate the understeer. They did a lot of work with that as well. So overall, this is the best handling WRX ever. In the back here, we still have the quad exhaust. Looks really mean with that. You can see that it is, again, not the same look as the regular Impreza. It does have the flared out fenders, similar to the previous last generation. You have a little bumper under uh, diffuser look right here under the bumper. Of course, it's a little bit functional, but really more for looks. The quad exhaust is really cool. The rear vision camera, you're gonna get similar to the uh, Forester in the premium and above, it's gonna be in the same display area right below the windshield, right as you're looking on the hood, the display will be right there in the multifunction display, see your backup camera. Again, premium trim and above is gonna have that. I really like the spoiler, the way they redid it. It's a lot different than the last generation where they put a lot of spoiler up top. Most of the trunk was covered by the spoiler. This is a really clean look. I think that improved a lot. So the back end of the vehicle, I think, looks a lot better than its predecessor. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Chris. Christopher Yee is our internet department here, and he's uh, really gonna tell you more about the statistical aspects of the car, how they improved power and torque, and all about the interior of the vehicle as well. Chris, I'll leave it to you. Hey guys, Chris here from Capital Subaru, here to talk to you about a little bit of the technical information about the brand new 2015 WRX. Um, this FA20 marks our return to the two liter class of WRC. Some of you race fans might have realized that we've been out of WRC since 2008. This is marking our return. Can't let Ford beat us. The front fascia of this car has been specifically aerodynamically designed for this chassis. Um, it is actually based on the G4 Impreza. However, only the roof line has been maintained. Everything else is a brand new part. Um, the FA20 featured in the 2015 Impreza is actually similar to the unit found in the Forester XT, but with a much more aggressive tune. If we pop the hood here, you'll notice that with all current generation Subarus, the oil filter is right up front, nice and easy to change your oil. No longer do you have to go under the car and reach around the manifold. We've maintained our top mounted intercooler. Subaru feels that this is much safer than your front mounted. So any little rocks flying up from the road or racetrack will not hinder the performance of the vehicle. This FA20 has more torque than any Subaru WRX produced in the US. And actually the numbers are pretty astronomical. So even though we've downgraded to a two liter rather than a 2.5, this is actually pushing 268 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque at a lower than ever RPM. And Subaru's actually done this by utilizing a twin scroll turbocharger that spools up in less time with more pound feet of boost than previous generations. The front end compared to the previous generation is actually 200% stiffer. And we've utilized the electronic power assisted steering unit that Subaru has developed 
in the G4 Impreza and has pushed on to all of their current generation vehicles. So um, as you look at the cockpit here, there are a few firsts for Subaru. This is the first US WRX to come with a six speed rather than a five speed transmission. This is the first WRX to come with the keyless start. This is the first WRX to be offered with a CVT, though the manual is shown here. Um, this is also actually the first time that Subaru has integrated their boost gauge. In the past, you had to purchase one as an accessory, and now they have this nice digital display. This is actually borrowed from the JDM Impreza, and you can also find it in the Forester XT, as well as Crosstrek hybrids, as both, both the rear view and the boost. Um, a little bit of interesting trivia here. Um, this is the first time that we've had a directional switch integrated so that the passenger can access all the TFT displays rather than relegating it only to the driver's side. A little bit more convenience, a little bit cooler. Um, this is actually also the first time the WRX has been offered with a premium audio offering. Harman Kardon has been kind enough to provide our stereo. The wheel here is D-shaped, and um, you'll notice it's pretty similar to an F1 style wheel. They've done this because of complaints that there wasn't enough grip on the last model. And Subaru is a, a great company in that they take the feedback from their customers very seriously. So this is the culmination of five years worth of experience um, on the field testing. This car, if you aren't familiar with the Subaru line, you might not know that this is a first, but we're actually offering uh, electronic seats for the very first time in our sports cars. It's been a common complaint um, for customers that have never driven Subarus before. And they've always wondered why we haven't offered a power seat. So Subaru has listened to that and offered you one with racy bolstering to keep you in and planted. You'll also notice that compared to the standard model Impreza, the plastic has been replaced with this carbon fiber trim, a little bit racier and sportier of a look. And they've actually borrowed the controls from the Outback so that the driver can maintain his own display and menu set here and it's sort of changeable right at the bottom. We expect this car to be selling pretty fast. The first ones are coming in just a few months. Um, by the time we post this video, you, the car will probably have left our dealership, but if you get a chance, come on down. We'd love to show you the vehicle. Thanks for watching DGDG TV. This is Chris from Capital Subaru, California's largest volume Subaru dealer. Stay tuned. In the future, we're going to have a couple of ride and drive videos as well as an initial impressions video just as soon as we can get one of these guys on the road.